What is up you guys, Tegan here with High Point Scientific. We're gonna go over a quick tutorial on how to set up your Celestron Nexstar 8SE. So before we begin, it's important to note that in this video, we're going to be discussing the Celestron Nexstar 8SE basic bundle. High Point Scientific does offer several different Nexstar 8SE bundles. This bundle does not come with an AC adapter, so if that's the one that you chose to purchase, be sure to remember to purchase an AC adapter. We recommend the Aperture 12 volt 5 amp. Let's go ahead and start. So first thing is first, we're going to start with the tripod. First, you wanna make sure you're sitting on level ground. Secondly, you want to open the tripod legs as far as possible, and then you can insert the spreader bar. We recommend that you keep the tripod on the lowest setting. The closer it is to the ground, the more sturdy that your telescope sit your whole system is going to be. So if you can get away with keeping it on the lowest setting, that's what we recommend. So second is the mount head. Once you set up your tripod, you will notice that underneath the tripod head are three thumb screws. You wanna place your mount head directly onto the tripod head, tighten up those thumb screws finger tight, and then your mount head should be ready to go. Next is the optical tube. We're going to insert the optical tube into the fork arm. So first you want to loosen the thumb screw on the fork arm. Make sure that the clasps are wide enough to accept the dovetail. Next you want to hold the optical tube by both hands, slide it into the fork arm carefully, and then you can tighten your thumb screw down and make sure that it has a secure hold on that dovetail. Okay, so next we are going to attach the red dot finder scope to the top of the OTA. First, you wanna loosen the screws on the base of the red dot finder scope using a Phillips screwdriver. Once those are loosened, then you can slide it onto the bracket. The bracket is already attached to the top of the OTA. And once that's nice and snug in the ridges, then you can go ahead and tighten those Phillips screws right back up. So you don't have to worry about buying a battery. A CR2032 battery should come with your Nexstar 8SE, and this is the battery that you're going to use to power the red dot finder scope. So we are almost finished with the initial setup process for the Nexstar 8SE, but first we have to insert our star diagonal as well as our eyepiece. You wanna take your star diagonal and slide it directly into the back of the optical tube, tighten it down with your thumb screws, and then you can insert your eyepiece directly into the star diagonal and also tighten that down with the thumb screws. Now you're ready to start aligning your red dot finder scope. So calibrating your red dot finder to your eyepiece is quite simple. First, we recommend that you do this during the daytime, and we're going to recommend that you point to something on the horizon to do this alignment process. So first, you want to power on your mount. From there, you can go directly to the hand controller and use the directional pads to point to something on the horizon. So once you've pointed relatively close to the horizon, now you want to make sure that whatever you're looking at is in focus through your eyepiece. You may have to crank your focus knob to the left or to the right several times before you achieve focus. Once you have focused and verified an object through your eyepiece, next you want to align your red dot finder scope to that object. Now you want to use the dials on the right side and the bottom of the red dot finder. You want to twist both of those left and right up and down until you have the red dot sight pointed directly at the object in your eyepiece. Once you've completed this, your red dot finder should be perfectly calibrated to your eyepiece. All right, so we have our Celestron Nexstar 8SC set up. We have our red dot finder calibrated to our eyepiece. Now it's finally time to get out under the night sky and do a star alignment process. So let's go ahead and check out the hand controller. Now it's time to power on our Celestron Nexstar 8SE. Go ahead and plug in your AC adapter and hit the on switch. You can find both of these ports on the underside of the fork arm. Once you hit the on switch, your hand controller will turn red. And the first thing that it will prompt you to do is to select your language. I'm gonna hit zero for English. And now it's going to prompt me to hit enter and begin our alignment process. After you hit enter, it's going to ask you the method. We highly recommend that you use the two star align method. You can hit the nine button to scroll down to the two star align, hit enter, and now it's going to ask you to select your custom site. You can scroll down and select out of a city database as well. So I will hit enter on city database, enter on North America, enter on the United States, and I will scroll all the way down to Ohio. I will hit enter on Ohio and then go down to Cincinnati and hit enter. Now it's going to ask you for your time. We highly recommend that you enter your time in military time. So here it's 7.20 p.m. So 19.20.00. Now it's going to ask if you are on standard time or daylight savings time. It is daylight savings time currently, so I will hit enter. And now it's going to ask you to enter your date. 
Today is October 4th of 2021. After you input that, go ahead and hit enter. So after entering your time, date, and your location, it's gonna prompt that you select your first star. For me, I'm going to select Altair, and then it's going to ask me to center the star in the eyepiece. I'm going to use the directional pads to move my red dot finder over the star Altair, and then I'm gonna look into my eyepiece and make sure it's there. I'm going to center the star, I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm going to hit align. Once you align your first star, it's going to prompt that you select your second star. In my case, I'm going to select the star Navi and the constellation of Cassiopeia. I'm going to use my directional pads once again to slew to the star Navi. Make sure that my red dot finder scope is pointed over the star. Make sure it's centered in my eyepiece. And once I've used the hand controller to center the star in my eyepiece, then you're going to hit enter and then you're going to hit align. So if you're following the instructions given to you by the hand controller during the star alignment process, it's actually going to ask you to first align the star with your red dot finder, and then you hit enter. The slew speed is automatically going to change, and then it's going to ask you to center the star in your eyepiece. And once that's finished, then you can hit align. This method or the method that we just went over will work. If you've done this alignment successfully, your hand controller should read alignment success. So you may see a message pop up on the hand controller at this point that says star pointer off. This is just a reminder for you to turn your red dot finder off so that the batteries don't die. Okay, from here you are pretty much finished. Now all you have to do is navigate to the object that you want to view. On your hand controller, you can hit the number one button to view solar system objects. You can hit the number two button to view stars or double star systems that you'd like to observe. And the number three button will take you to a deep sky catalog. From there, you can choose Caldwell objects, Messier objects, NGC catalog objects. And you even have the option to hit the number five button, which is going to give you a deep sky tour of popular deep sky objects in your area at that time of night. Okay, so that just about does it. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any additional questions about setting up your Nexstar 8SE, maybe you have some more advanced questions about the hand controller, please let us know in the comments or you can visit us at highpointscientific.com and our non-commissioned product advisors will be more than happy to assist you. Again, clear skies.